When is the right time to turn your business into an LLC? Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Small. I'm the owner of Big Bird Accounting. We, what did we do exactly? I forgot. Uh, we help businesses make more money, pay less taxes, and have clean books, okay? If you're a business owner and you need help with your books, and we do it in a way that nobody else does, we're gonna help you, like I said, with your taxes, we'll help you make more money. We're gonna help you identify things where you can make a difference and your books will be clean for your CPA, all right? Bigbirdaccounting.com. All right, so this is a, um, a YouTube question or a TikTok question, and it, it uh, has to do with when to create an LLC. Uh, this guy says, interesting topic, trust first or LLC first is what I was talking about. I have a pillow business. Should I have an LLC for my business? It's a great question. So the answer is this, probably yes. Now, I'm gonna walk you through the, my thought process on this so that you can see where I'm coming from, you can see how to do it, and hopefully you can make the choice one way or the other, okay? There are a couple of different reasons why you might wanna have an LLC. There are legal reasons, there are business reasons, okay, and there are tax reasons, okay? A couple, so kind of three different things. They all help you for the most part. The first thing, uh, that I would talk about is the legal reason. A lot of people create LLCs. By the way, LLC stands for Limited Liability Company. The reason people start LLCs is because they, they do what the name implies. They limit your liability, which means if you are in your business and you make a mistake, an oopsie, they can't go and get your personal bank accounts. Okay, the, some, the person that would be suing you would be limited to whatever was in your business, okay? Um, that is, if your business is run correctly and your LLC is set up properly. That's where a lot of people fall short. So when you create an LLC, you gotta follow the rules, okay? It's not hard to follow the rules, but people are lazy. By the way, that's why you get a bookkeeper, because they help you comply with the rules, and make sure all this stuff is good if and when you ever need it. So. The way that I would think about this, the way that I describe it, it's like a silo. It's like a wall that you put around your business. If somebody sues you, they can't break through the wall. If somebody sues you personally, they also can't break through the wall and get like your business profits. But that's, that's sort of a tangen tangential a little bit. Okay, so that's reason number one why people create an LLC. The second reason why you might wanna create an LLC is, is tax related it really helps you separate your, and it's all, this is the business reason too, I guess, in, in reality. The LLC helps you clearly define what are business expenses and personal expenses if you are keeping track. If you create an LLC, you should have a separate bank account for your business. The money that you make through your business goes into the LLC. Expenses that you use in your business go out of the business bank account. Okay, there's a couple different ways to set this up. Maybe I'll make another video on this, by the way. Um, and then when you want to take money out personally, you make a distribution to yourself and then you go buy the thing that you want personally. Okay. Here is the reason, I guess the other tax reason why an LLC is nice. Once you've established this, then you can identify things that you may use personally, but qualify as a business expense. A lot of travel. Okay. If you're traveling for a business expense in quotation marks in your cell phone, home office, vehicles okay there's a whole bunch of different stuff that you can write off meals and entertainment there's a tremendous number of things that you can run through your business that while they're not free will essentially give you a discount on those things because you won't have to pay income tax on it it will be deducted from the top and then you'll just pay income tax on your literal income okay huge huge savings there the third reason and the other tax reason i guess is if your business becomes successful enough that you start making some decent money, probably 50K and up in profit, then you can start taxing yourself as an S Corp and there's just extra tax savings there. I'm not gonna talk about them right now. It's a different video, but just know that there are a bunch of different reasons why you might want to start and create an LLC for your business. If any of the things that I talked about applied, you probably wanna create an LLC. It's not that hard to do. There are not a lot of like reporting requirements. It's not super tricky. Uh, if you want to talk to an attorney to help you do that, I mean, that's something that we do. Uh, which brings me to my other, uh, my other last point. 
if you have multiple members in your LLC, if you have business partners or in your, in your business, you want to create some kind of corporate structure, whether it's a partnership or an LLC. People like to revert to LLCs because then you're not liable for what the other people do. In a partnership, there is personal liability. We don't want that. That's why we like LLCs. Okay, so for all those reasons, you might wanna create an LLC for your business. Okay, hope that made sense. If it did, like, comment, follow, subscribe. Do whatever you can so you don't miss out on the next great piece of content. Okay, and if you need help with your books, if you wanna make more money, if you wanna save on taxes, if you wanna be organized, bigbirdaccounting.com. All right, that is it for today. I am Christopher Small. I'm the owner of Big Bird Accounting. We do it right. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. Appreciate you. And I'll talk to you again soon. See ya.